hearing the case for medical marijuana in South Carolina. The bill to make it legal is closer than it has ever been before, but could it still be stopped? And that's a big question right now because on both sides of this debate, there are impassioned pleas. Queen City News reporter Derek Dellinger here now in the studio with what came out of today's meeting, Derek. And could this even reach the governor's desk? Well, that's the big question right now because there are a bunch of amendments that have been added to the bill, and whatever gets approved by the state house would still have to go back to the state senate. It could reach the governor's desk, but there's a bigger question on whether he will actually sign it. When it comes to medical marijuana in South Carolina, what could come is legalization for specific conditions. Medical marijuana advocates say South Carolina's bill is one of the most restrictive in the country. It would be legal for roughly a dozen medical ailments. And, and even by Senator Tom Davis's own words, it is the most restrictive medical bill in the nation. Scott Weldon is with the South Carolina chapter of Normal, a group advocating for marijuana law reform. He says the creator of the state's medical marijuana legislation did not go far enough. He's bowed to law enforcement sled here in South Carolina. Uh, to take out the flower and smoking option uh, from his medical bill um, to the detriment of patients. When people are thinking of medical pot these days, this image may pop up of pot plants. And while it's not entirely incorrect, the tinctures and oils are more of what people may actually see. In hearings today in Columbia, people spoke about the help it has made with post-traumatic stress and seizures. Some say they are wanting to use it legally, while others admitted to buying it illegally. Daniel Russell is with Keystone Substance Abuse Services in Rock Hill. She says marijuana addiction is real. After alcohol, it's the second most treated issue for them. You know, we already have basically two legalized substances, alcohol and tobacco, that have already caused drastic um, consequences to our society. And then legalizing another one, um, I just think, would exacerbate that. There is an acknowledgement, though, even if it's not now, marijuana legalization is coming closer to reality. To that end, substance abuse services like Keystone say they are preparing for it. Is it just going to become more prevalent with people that maybe weren't going to try it before and now um, there's a new population going to engage in, in substance use? So, you know, I'm definitely I'm definitely worried about it because it's already an issue here. There were also stories about how marijuana has also had a negative impact on people and families. Now, the big thing right here right now is the fact that South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster has said he was not in support of medical marijuana. But at this point, it's just how much it, there can actually be support in the state legislature, potentially enough to override a veto. Once it gets to that point, we don't know that yet. We will let you know, though, when and if that happens. Brian.